So now it's time to move on and uh, to actually apply this to something that sounds a bit more like music. And we're going to do it by using a tiny bit of a major scale. So we're just going to play one octave. And all you have to do is uh, start on the fifth fret of the third string and we go C, D, so 5 and 7. Then on the next string we do 5, 6, 8. That's E, F, G. And then on the next string A, B, C, which is 5, 7, 8. So, you know, we're using the same combinations that we worked on individually, now we're mixing them up. And also this uh, brings us to a good point, which is, should you practice with a clean tone or with distortion? Uh, you should practice with both. The clean tone allows you to really focus on uh, that you produce the same exact tone and sound for each string. Okay, distortion brings in uh, Compression, so compression will tend to make your lower volume notes, the ones you don't hit so well, sound pretty much the same as the other ones. And so for precision, that might not be the best idea, but it's also true that if you play always with distortion, if you're, if you're in a hard rock or a heavy metal band and you play with distortion all the time, you have to understand you know, the nature of the beast. You can't just go out there and you practice clean all the time and then you go live and you make a bunch of squeaky noises and uh, you really don't control the, the distortion. So, uh, you know, try both. And distortion will allow you also to control one thing, which is unwanted noise. So if you don't play properly, you start sounding like this. Right? So nobody wants to play like that. So distortion and also these kind of noises, when you play clean, you might be a bit sloppy. You can hear a bit of noise back there, but you don't really notice it unless you're really looking for it. So the best way to understand that is to just you know, hit your distortion pedal or your change your channel on the amp and try to play with a clean sound and an even sound with a distortion. Now, nothing, uh, you know, will uh, prevent you from playing with distortion and imagining it you're playing uh, with a clean tone. So you'll still try to get every note to sound exactly the same without the help of the, of the actual uh, distortion and compression. But at the same time, you'll be able to control all these other weird and unpredictable things that distortion brings about. And it's also a lot more fun to play with distortion sometimes if you like hard rock. So go ahead and do it. And this exercise again is just a little scale. We go up and we come back down. The main thing here is keep using alternate picking and try to move this hand as little as possible and this one too. And I'm going to show this one to you from close up so you can have a better look.